Students are using interior design to create an impact in their community. Stay tuned to find out more. Students in James Wood High School family and consumer science teacher Emily Barnes' introduction to interior design classes recently completed a project that enabled them to engage in research, interior design, and community service. The project involved refurbishing a dollhouse. So when we first got the dollhouse, it was kind of in rough condition and definitely needed a lot of help with like paint and um, a lot of interior design. To bring it back to life, we painted it, sanded it down, added some different embellishments to the outside of the house, and then um, decorated the inside um, from like ground up, basically. The students worked in small groups, with each group undertaking specific tasks. Basically, each of our classes had like a specific role for each room, and um, I did the kitchen with um, some of my partners. We each went through a process with each room and picked out the colors and designed all the furniture. So for the 3D printer, we all of the furniture was made from it and we just painted the furniture and made it all different for each room. Our group's planning process for the bedroom was kind of left into our own hands. We were free to work with whatever colors we wanted and um, how we wanted to design the looks of it. Throughout the process, the students utilized interior design concepts they learned in class, but also experienced some of the competencies that are part of Frederick County Public Schools' Portrait of a Graduate, such as communication, collaboration, critical thinking, and problem solving. By working as part of a team, we, um, you know, you like grow friendships, and like you realize that like they might want to do it some way, but you have to like work together. Having to work as part of a team on this project, I definitely learn to cooperate with other people's ideas and not to take the full lead of it, but to really allow others to um, put their ideas into it because you never know if it's going to be a better idea than yours or maybe one person's idea doesn't work out. So you, it's good to have backup plans. The project culminated with the students presenting the dollhouse to the family of a young boy who's battling cancer. It really means a lot to our family, especially the stuff that we have gone through. Um, having little moments like this definitely makes the, the bad days just kind of seem like nothing and the good days are always, you know, looking forward to it. So we love this stuff and the kids are gonna love the dollhouse and it's gonna stay in our family forever now. So it's definitely become a family heirloom. Mm -hmm.